Hello guys, what a great time to be in this current crypto hype. I am so glad to be here. We are at the start of two major things. My YouTube channel, yeah, this is my first video. But more importantly, every green light to announce the next bull run in crypto seems to have been switched on. So if I'm here today, it is not to give you any financial advice. You know that. On YouTube, that just sounds like a bad idea, right? Just to be clear. Instead, today we are going to discover the Exodus wallet together. It's a perfect wallet for beginners and it will do wonders to easily manage your crypto assets from Bitcoin to, as of 2020, more than a hundred of cryptocurrencies available on it. I am myself an old user of Exodus where it only supported like six currencies at the time and can only recommend this tool when comes the needs to access a no-brainer wallet for crypto. And for what it was, but since this is my first video on this channel, I guess you are clear with the idea that this is not a sponsored video. If you are from the newcomers in the crypto space, I want to warmly welcome you. You are going on a crazy ride. I hope you know that. Anyway, let's get started. This wallet is available on every platform, Windows, Linux, Mac, and both Android and iOS for mobile. In this video, I will show you how to install and use it on a computer with all the important actions to keep in mind. I will try to keep an easy vocabulary as much as possible, but it might be a video where you learn few new terms, who knows? So without further ado, let's finally set up a crypto wallet with Exodus. Go on exodus.io, I insist, .io and click on the download button. After that, select your environment and start the download. When the download is finished, go and click on the installation program. Look, this program tries so hard to be easy to use, the installation is already finished without any single question. Am I on a Mac or what? When you open your wallet, you are welcomed by two options. The right one will be for people that know already how to handle this wallet and restore their old wallet. And the left one invites you to make your first deposit. Because at this very current stage, you already did everything required to get a crypto wallet. But a crypto wallet without any coin on it. Some people may ask, does it really exist? Exodus is one of the rarest wallets that use a kind of counterintuitive approach. It first gives you a wallet and only after receiving money on it, focus to help you to correctly secure your funds with a password and a recovery phrase that, in the crypto field, we are used to calling it the seed. But, but actually, I don't feel like it. I want to secure it now. Back in the days, if I remember right, this option wasn't even possible. But now, you can directly secure your wallet right now, right after the installation. So this introduces the next step. Go on settings by clicking on the cog in the top right corner of the app and click on the backup tab. From here, you have to set up a password. And you have to understand that this password only protects your wallet from the people that have access to your computer. It will encrypt it and anybody that use your computer will not be able to spend the money on this wallet. I personally use the project Nayuki to generate extremely strong password because this tool generates them locally on your computer and it gives you a really good insight about the entropy of your password. To keep things easy, let's say instead of entropy, the randomness. I usually select lowercase, uppercase, number and select the option to get a 128 bits entropy password. This kind of password ensures a fantastic level of security against tools that would try to break your password. So copy the generated password or the password you are using and paste it into the wallet and paste it somewhere safe in a file for future use. Next, you have to confirm and paste your password again. Now, this is when things get serious. The 12 word phrase on this screen, hidden below a mouse hover, is the holy grail of your wallet. You may have lost the password previously set up. You may have your computer stolen or even your house is currently on fire. If you have kept those 12 words somewhere safe, your coin are safe. You really have to understand that. If anybody in the world get access somehow to this seed, 
he can access your coin without any limitation. I want this to be crystal clear, all right? For this step, you take a piece of paper, a pencil, and you write this 12 word down. This is a very, very, very serious step. This is when you become your own bank. The following verification process is here to ensure you correctly wrote your seat down. But I have to admit, on this step, I have the feeling that asking only one word among the 12 is kind of a lack of seriousness. So if any doubt, go back to the previous step and slowly and carefully check every word of your list and the ordering as well, from 1 to 6 on the first line and 7 to 12 on the second one. If you are looking for some very cool way to store your 12 word onto steel for amazing resistance against fire, corrosion and such, I've put some link below out of curiosity. Ok, the backup and securing process of your wallet complete. So let's go back to the home of your wallet by clicking on the top left corner and let's see what's inside the wallet tab. You should have an interface looking like mine with a list of names in an horizontal way. I am not really keen on that and actually I prefer the vertical list. So a quick jump back into the settings, tab personalize and disable or enable the horizontal wallet navigation depending on your preferences. As you can see now, we have a small list of roughly 25 assets, depending on your needs, but you should know that at the bottom of the list, you can manage exactly which asset do you want to display. I will personally trim almost everything out from it. Just uncheck the one you don't want and select the needed ones. Way more clear, isn't it? From this interface, this is where the real stuff happens. If I click on Bitcoin or any other listed cryptocurrency, you will always get two choices. You can send or receive. Since right now you are mostly willing to receive coin, just click on the button and will be display a Bitcoin address ready to be spread to the world to earn your first coin. And this is it! You are now ready at least to receive the cryptocurrency. Trying to keep this video as short as possible for a good starting jump into the world of crypto. Let me know in the comment down below if you would like to know more about this wallet or if you struggle anywhere. Be aware that becoming a crypto hodler comes with a bunch of responsibility and seriousness. I will come back soon with much more about what I have to share with you about crypto. Until then, keep in mind, be wise, be careful and be crypto.